Alright, I'm inside. Yeah. This is where I live now. You are become a circus forever. person. The Gerbera Garden. Look at all them look at all them balloons. Can I cut one loose? Let's take a look. Well, you don't have your knife anymore, so I think you're screwed on no that one. No apparent interaction. Yeah, hopefully I didn't need any of those objects from the house, because when I reloaded, our whole inventory cleared. Enemish, I remembered who those people were. The ones whose passing was regarded as more valuable. It was their genes that made them special. Their DNA had fewer errors. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion, which contains a valuable component. It was this component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. Oh, here's the Rubik's Cube things. That's a thing. I saw in the tutorial huh. there's like really heavy Rubik's cube gameplay stuff. And we haven't seen that yet. No, that was just in the little tutorial. Now we're looking for... Find and search the seventh pavilion. Huh. Watch well, us be at How the did, wrong pavilion. They, just overall. Like the entire wrong building. Somewhere. Oh, the endless... Endless Sands 7. That sounds That's right. probably it. I like the slides they've got I around here. I probably can't climb this slide, but I'll try. Hit. Nope. But I think that's where we're trying to go. Huh. Oh, that's a weird pipe. Maybe I can climb in that. Oh, what's this horrifying face? Kiss it. Hello, nightmares. Kiss it. Is that mother... It's like mother brain or something? Kiss it. I don't... Uh. Become one. Become one with that. Oh! Okay, that startled me a bit. Not gonna lie, that is actually that is a, a horrifying. Oh yeah, you're. A, oh, that's really creepy. Everything that just happened was really creepy. I'm gonna go over here now. <laughs> oh. All right. Can I use this building for something? It's a ride, I think. Oh, 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 oh! I'm gonna die now. Uh, I'm, my safety harness is not on. <laughs> Excuse me? It's okay. It's okay. You're also not in a seat? Yeah, I'm looking for a thing to interact with. Oh, there's a time card. There's a button. Fuel canister. You should try, uh... Welcome watch, back. Ooh. Watch this fire ooh, you to the moon it. or something like that. Nope. That would be glorious. It's just like, whoop! Oh, you're dead. This is the sound of me manically clicking on everything. Yup. I don't think this is going to take me anywhere. I think it's just... I think the motion sensor just turned... made it move a little bit. Oh. Attention, make a conf confirmation gesture at, after the beep. What does that even mean? Beep? Uh... That awkward moment where you can't tell if something's interactive or if this is like, uh, set dressing? I don't know. Like, it lit up. Yeah. It's the first thing that's responded to us since we're here. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, this is happening. Let's look around again, I guess? Yeah, I think maybe we come back to this one later. Maybe th oh, maybe that's a thing. Hey, weird glowy bit. Like, I feel like I you should- Will you take me up? Get into that. Ah. Okay. Well. Solves your problem. How do you feel about being a tube person? Welcome to Futurama. Hope you're not afraid of heights. How's it go? How are you doing, creepy door? Oh, it's a padded room. Oh, this is my prison now. I like it how the robot chick right, has bye, effectively just forever. become... The robot chick has just turned into Cortana. Yeah, more or less. She's just telling me where to go now. But she also opened the doors kind of for us. I she'd be here. She doesn't have functional legs. Was... Or eyes. Yeah, that's a bummer. <laughs> I thought she was gonna be wandering around with us. I was expecting something a little bit different. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what I'm expecting in this game. I expect nothing. Yeah, this this is a thing. Yeah. Where you do stuff. Apparently. 
Uh, the cubes are back. Oh. We're good. Wait, was that old prologue and this is the actual game? <laughs> <laughs> Pavilion Endless Sands. Collect 30 blue cubes to gain the breathing module. Hurl cubes into the uprising stream. Hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Don't fall into the water. That reduces your scores. Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Create platforms. Valuable cubes are hidden inside those. Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete cubes blocking your way. What? Okay, so we want to curl cubes into the uprising stream. Uh, you can make a burst of cubes by holding right click. Create platforms by hitting a blue against a white. I'm not gonna right lie. To cubes. This reeks of bullshit. They're like, all right, so we finished the game, but we need like to pad it out. Let's add. Let's More add like gameplay. a gameplay. Yeah, let's add just oh, a breathing different module. I was like, game. how do I interact with this thing? Uh. Do I just hop down there? Yeah, I guess so. Cause you need to get down somehow. That seems dangerous. Alright, uh, that didn't hurt. Alright. Is that the Mario jumping noise? Alright, that happened. Blue against blue. Nope. Blue against... Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> You're um, right, it is the Mario... Oh you, oh, you throw them into the uprising stream, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, there's a monster. That's weird. Oh, come back here. You can kind of. Oh shit! That is one. Where'd you go? Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a creepy red ass... cube now. That is one danky ass monster, though. Do I want red cubes or is that bad? Like this, this is weird. I... Oh, the uprising stream is gone. Oh, there it is. Oh, the uh, made. the whole premise of this is just seems weird and confusing. It's like. So we need, like, gameplay, not just, like, hidden object game. Also, I think you have to throw blue in. It only accepts just blue. blue. Oh. oh, you're right. Because you can tell because of that flower thing on the left. Yeah, it's only filling up when I use blue. This is a weird feeling. Okay, where's a white one? Oh, God. All right. First person platforming and all that. Oh man, first person platforming is the best. Shoom. Oh, the I missed best. Him. Absolute. Oh, oh. Hey, red guy, where you at? Oh, hello. He expl Whoa, he exploded. Whoa. Yeah, they do that's that. A lot of blown up cubes. You know, like they do. It's life all and right. stuff. Oh, c c c where did he go? oh, he just exploded all over me. I feel dirty. Ah, uh, you should. You harlot. Got him. Oh, that was bad. Apparently, it blew him up. I uh, is or it maybe bad? It was that, bad. Is it bad that you uh, done mur done murdered a? Uh... I don't know what anything means anymore. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I, I don't. At least you don't lose whoa, your whoa, cube whoa, for whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everything's getting sucked away. That's probably bad, huh? Maybe it's a bonus. I'm probably losing, right? Am I losing right now? I think I'm losing right now. I think the floor is made <laughs> out of lava. Uh, yeah, maybe we don't want to go down there. I don't think Find so either. To make a platform. Maybe maybe killing the monster is a bad move. Maybe. Wait, maybe maybe it alternates as kind of like a timing thing. You know, you only have so much time. Oh well. Zoom. I was trying to use white on blue, but it wasn't really doing anything. It wasn't blue on. Oh well. well there's a bunch of well, there's a bunch of blue down there. Yeah. Zoom. Swear blue on uh, white. Ah, you was... blew up my blue. You dumb poop head. That is a blue. Alright, well this is an experience. It really is. I like, I don't really have much for words. As far as this game goes, just cause like, I don't think any- anything I say is going to... ...do the amount of like, just confusion that I'm- I'm dealing with justice. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a blue... ...again. You might want to go back Get up. Get out of here. Cause you're gonna Probably. run into some serious issues if you fall down. Hey, I can blue. only I can only assume that you're going to ah, fall to your death. My blue got sucked away. Ah. God damn it. It's <laughs> about to use that. Oh, there's one. Er, Trying to suck everything away. Stop it. Let's use it on the white. Oops. What am I doing oh you do I left click? Yes I do. There we go. That's how I generate more blues. I was wondering about that. It's like it feels like you're running out. I was misinterpreting how to do. I was I was right clicking instead of left clicking. Oh, it gives you more platforms too. Yep. Oops, I dropped it. 
I'm being really bad about mixing up left click and right click so far. E. Oh god, I'm inside it. Oh god. Uh. Uh, things happen. Just just accept it into your life. No. Just just accept I'm not an accepting that person. you are a cube oh, man. Oh god. And that Oh, I drop ex No, don't drop that it. That your life is now cubes. <laughs> you are now Minecraft. This game's being mean to me. Well, I mean, it's a this is, bad. Remember the part where we guy? were trying to cook? Yeah, I remember that. Remember when that was this video game? You, I remember when that I'm was. To think about the fact that actually that's, surprisingly that that's the same more game. interesting than this. Like, sure, this might be slightly game. more exciting. However, Fuck this you, Red Cube. This may be just a little bit too video game for me, and a little bit too yeah, less. This is weird. It's weird. Oh, does putting a red in the center make the vortex happen? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, that would explain it. Because it sounds like, yeah, putting a- I feel like anything would explain it. <laughs> like, you could just say the phrase, that would explain it, and as the bet, and then like, yeah, I guess so. Well, you need about- I have no other counter argument. 15 left, maybe? Is it like 30? I'm just trying to get- I'm just trying to find my way back up right now. That's true. Oh, there's one. This is a bit of a mess. I don't have words. Yeah, video games are happening. All up in your face. But like, is this really- there we go. I mean, it's- yes, it's a video game. But is this Doom. really... A video game, or this is it just like- This is my original like, character, do not steal. <laughs> it feels like that, it's just kind of the like, well, we had nothing better to do, let's just make this thing. Okay, here's the question, what came this is first- a weird change. What <laughs> came first in the development process? This game? This or the robot girl? <laughs> yeah, this or the robot girl, this or the cooking. Like, what was put what in first? Was so what if this was someone on the development team's, like, pet- Oh, crap. Like, pet S project. Yeah, student project. That they're, some, like, some game they happened of. to make. Like they, had, like, they had a notch person on their company making, like, Inf Infiniminer clones or something. Yeah. Alright, well, that, g that gave me a lot more blues. Yeah, it seems you just want to use blue on white and get a billion new yeah, blues everywhere. Yeah, pretty much. I noticed the, uh, the, the monster isn't bothering you as much. I wonder why. Oh, just blew up on me. So you did that to me, by the way. <laughs> that was your fault. At least you don't, like, die. Which well, is kind of useful. Well, we fall on the bottom, maybe. Maybe we do. Well, yeah, but, like, you don't die for getting Oops. hit by the monster. Yeah. Which is actually good. Creeper. I mean... Because <laughs> this this looks like the kind I'm of game... I'm so bad at mixing up what left and right click do in this game. Okay. I'm so... Keith, are I you left... So are you left-handed or are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay. So, so in that case, you punch with your right, correct? So, stop... Um, stop I don't really punch things stop think about, in general. Stop thinking <laughs> about life in terms of left and right. Start thinking about it in terms of punch and not punch. Oh no, I dropped. I don't punch things. Well, maybe That's you a should. Bad example. Maybe you should punch more things. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> no, I lost it when I threw it on accident. Professional pugilist Sebastian S.B. Sounds about right. Yes. Yep, you lost that blue cube. Down right, dastardly. At least you only have oh, like God. three more, which oh, is pretty that damn easy. That was unfortunate. No, don't blow up. Oh, God. Okay, that's bad. Um... Non-ideal, as it turns out. Oh, I won, apparently. Yay! You what? Probably saw, uh, pro a blue probably got dropped. So, video games are weird. Yeah. But we got a breathing module, so that's sweet. Now, at least we can help someone breathe that doesn't need air. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I... I'm not gonna lie. It's the important things in life, Wonder. I think if I was doing this solo, I probably would have stopped midway through that segment. <laughs> you think you would have given up by now? Mentally, yeah. Like I've already, I've already kind of mentally checked out of just like this because it's just like I want to know. Oh, oh, there's there's gameplay. Oh, like I was actually. Now we get to figure out how to leave. I was actually oh, more that was okay a good with this of the game trying to load everything. This game being more of like a vapid uh, adventure game mist clone than that. Yeah, you're right. But now, now we get to have a slide. It's true. Wee. Oh god, scripted. Weird. 
I would rather it be scripted than not. I thought I would just slide down it. Yeah, I know, but like that's like the lamest thing that ever. I would much rather have like a, a scripted sequence where it's just like you you just took the slide slide. Alright, now we just need to find our way out of here. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. We're in the same phase where I'm sprinting around, so the breathing module's like clipping through me and glitching everywhere. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really know how to handle being having an item carried. Alright, we need a way back out. Um... Good luck. I suppose I can just climb it. I mean, the tree got you <sighs> in the last time, so it's probably going to be something related. Wait, can I pick these are up? you kidding me? Okay, Keith, head for no. the front. Like, head back to the entrance. Like the front gate? No, no, the entrance of that, that, uh, tent thing. Like, that we came out of. Take a left, more or less. You know, you know where you came out of. Now look for a thing that's embedded in the ground. This ride? Yes. What is this? Now sit in the, uh, white chair. With the, uh, little console thing next to it. Oops. Oh yeah, I can just add this to my- No! Uh, get out, get out. Uh, grab the thing. Shit, how do I get out of it? <laughs> God, really? <laughs> no, I need the device! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. I don't like it anymore. I... Oh, it's gonna stay on it, thank God. Okay. Stay there. Stay there, little buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna look away and look back and it's not gonna be there anymore. Uh, right when I was like, oh, I can... Right when I was like, I just remembered, I can add this to my inventory. And I'm like, fuck. I dropped it. like a derp. <laughs> I can fly this thing around? Oh, cool. No! I'm trying to click on the... Get out of the... Get out of the, ch get out of the chair. I do not. I do you not. You can't get out of the chair. It like, it'll arbitrarily let you in and out. The length of braking distance is calculated automatically. Contact tech support in the event of equipment breakdown. Just get out of the chair. There we go. I, I'm gonna crouch. Um. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, we're going. I'm sure it won't fly out of this thing like fucking the gnome from, uh... It's not gonna be like the garden gnome from, uh... From Half-Life and just fall out, is it? I don't know. Uh, Please don't fall out. Oh! Oh, thank God! The gate just broke. That's good news. Cause fuck that gate. Are we gonna hit the wall? Don't kill us. Okay, it stopped. Sweet. Is it still there? Get out it's now? still there, okay. No! Okay, wait, what did I click? Okay. For the love of God, let me pick up the thing that is vital for the story. Thank goodness. Get in my inventory, you shit. Jesus, you got it? okay. Okay. Yes, I got it. That is good. Oh, this game is a magical that piece. That was of really stressful. This, I was like, this, this is game is go. magical. I was so convinced it was going to fall out of my vehicle randomly while I was in transit, and it was going to be like Half Life Two, Episode Two, where you're like hunting for that goddamn garden gnome because it fell out of your car somewhere, and you're like, I don't know where it is. I can't find it. I ah. never did that challenge. I never wanted to. I heard about it. I was like, that sounds cool. It's not a great idea. And like if. Maybe if I had people to talk to, it would be like, all right. But I think, like, doing a series on it would just be annoying. Oh. Well, I have the breathing module, thank goodness. Yay! And now I'm locked out. <laughs> of your own yurt? What if I, what if I was? That would be depressing. I mean, it might not even be Did your you yurt. Module? Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so... You need to connect the module to it somehow. Alright. God, it's so freaky how she shudders every time she, like, breathes. I mean, maybe that's why she, why she shudders, is because she can't breathe. Yeah, no, that's absolutely why she shudders, but it's just like... Oh, this whole, this whole time I could put them in my inventory. That's so handy. Breathing module, trachea. 
I'm just going to assume that went the right spot. Cool. You just pocketed her boobs. Yeah, that's like the middle of your torso. You just pocketed yeah, her boobs. That is... These are my new pocket boobs. <laughs> They're mine now. So is the top of her head. Oh, shit. I can't take that. All right. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. I can see that, literally. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. But how were they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passing becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan, protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Everybody produces both components with their emotions, only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the Public Rescue Fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling and that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark. But I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. 
It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens, then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. 